So I had to make a video on this. Why? Because it's interesting and I have to talk about it. So Workhorse Falls on Short Seller claims it's misled investors. Did they really mislead investors? Uh, I don't really think so. And then uh, a guy, uh, not a guy, a research firm called Fuzzy Panda Research came out and talked and bashed on YouTubers that made videos on Workhorse and promoting the company and saying that it's uh, what they're doing is illegal. Um, like that seems weird to me but you know what short sellers they use whatever bullet they can find they like they find whatever we like they find any kind of resource out there possible they twist the words to make it sound as bad as possible so they can get people to panic sell so they can successfully short their stock that is manipulation Fuzzy Panda Research, what they're doing should be illegal because they are tw they are going out there making accusations that saying that YouTubers getting paid to um to make uh workhorse videos isn't that the same thing as them saying uh by them making up all this stuff because obviously they you know. They are trying to short the stock, so they're trying to sound as negative as possible and using false statements to get retail investors to get scared to sell their stock so they can successfully short the stock because it's hard to short a stock. You gotta short the stock and then you gotta write a negative article saying, telling people why they should sell their stock without saying sell your stock <laughs> because that's illegal so they they, they 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 come out with negative articles you know to short the stock and you know it sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but short sellers do that all the time because that's how they are successful at shorting stocks but it's wrong and it's uh, what they did, in my opinion, it should be illegal because they are accusing YouTubers that they are doing something illegal, <laughs> which they're not. I mean, everyone has their opinions and Workhorse is a hot subject right now. Everybody wants to make a video on Workhorse because it gets views. I make videos about Workhorse because it gets views. I, I don't make videos about Workhorse unless it, unless it brings in the views. And a lot of people are interested in workhorse videos. And so what happened to workhorse stock today? It dipped, but it got it got bought up, so it didn't really the short sellers weren't really successful at shorting the stock because it didn't really do anything. It just kind of like stabilized. It dipped in the morning because they shorted it and then people bought it up and it just kinda traded sideways all day long. Um, so obviously retail investors are not scared of the short sellers report but I mean I kind of understand why short sellers attack this company is because they make absolutely no revenue they make no revenue at all they have like a hundred million dollars on their balance sheet and they're worth 2.49 billion dollars I mean, if I was a short seller, I would call this thing a big bubble and overvalued. But again, stocks are worth as much as investors are willing to buy. And at the end of the day, this $2.49 billion, short sellers should realize that it's not retail investors that uh, that make up this $2.49 billion. It's BlackRock. It's ARK Invest. It's a ton of institutional investors they're the ones that hold the true value of this stock if ARK bailed if BlackRock bailed this stock will go back to two dollars <laughs> I'm not I'm not kidding you retail investors can't hold this stock up retail investors may maybe mix up like a hundred million dollars maybe 
200 million dollars of the market cap and then the rest is from institutional investors blackrock arc and a bunch of other institutions they're the ones that really truly make up the market cap Retail investors, maybe a hundred million dollars, maybe two hundred if I'm really pushing it. In my opinion only, I don't know for sure. This is just pure speculation on my part. So, uh, and you know what? I'm a little disappointed because I thought that uh, they would mention my name and give me free exposure, but they didn't, and it sucks. But hey, whatever. Uh, so that this is. While making this weekend video, Diamond Peak Holdings just got approved of their merger. The stock popped $1.68. Uh, I'm not paid to promote this company, but I do like this. I do like the business, and I've been talking positively about this company when it was sitting at $10. Uh, well, between $10 to $13. So, am I being paid to promote this company? I wish. I would definitely tell you guys, but I'm not. I'm not getting paid. So, uh, so what is it? Uh, Positive Investing came out with a video not too long ago of making a video on it. Why? Because he, honestly, he probably would never make a video on Workhorse unless it got views. And the only reason why he's making a video on Workhorse is because his Workhorse videos get tons and tons of views. For some strange reason, people love Workhorse and they want to watch every single piece of content out there possible for Workhorse. So why would he make a Workhorse videos? For the views. Because he wants money. Well, maybe he doesn't want money so much because uh, he was approached by very good butchers to make a video on them, but he didn't accept. Uh, they were paying. They were willing to pay him thirty five hundred dollars to produce a video, but never talked. To, never made a video on it. And d see, these were dated September thirteenth, September twenty second, September twenty third. But hey, it's kind of cool to see them pay thirty thirty five hundred dollars to make a video. Thirty five hundred dollars to uh, to very good butchers is literally nothing. I mean, they just raised like ten million dollars. Uh, like. They have like ten million dollars on the balance sheet, so thirty five hundred dollars, it's a tax write off, and on top of that, it it really, you no, know, it's not a lot of money to them. But to a YouTuber, that's a decent jump to change. That's like one month worth of of YouTube ad revenue, it depending on the YouTuber. But I'm betting anything positive investing probably makes about four thousand US dollars per month on YouTube just my opinion he won't ever tell you how much money he makes but he makes roughly there because I make what like $500 a month $600 a month between five to six hundred dollars a month uh, US on YouTube so he probably makes about three thousand five hundred because he gets in a lot of views compared to me I don't get that much views I have to work my ass off and you know my you know, it's my voice. Maybe if I made more dedicated videos and I edit it, and you know, maybe my views will go up. But it's no, it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. And you know, maybe I should get off my ass and make better videos and see if my views go up. But I'm at the end of the day, I think it's also my voice too. People are gonna be like, "Oh, it's the same guy with the same voice." Who really cares about him? And my views will probably won't do as well anyway, so... It's the voice. He has a good voice. I don't have a good voice. I have get comments where... I can't stand your voice. You sound like a little kid. Uh, you know. Stop making YouTube videos. <laughs> one of one, like, I get negative... Feedback all the time. Occasionally, sorry. So I know there's a problem. I knew from the from the start, but I'm never gonna stop making YouTube videos. And last thing I'm gonna end the video off with for the weekend video is President Donald Trump. I feel perfect. I feel perfect. I don't think I'm contagious. Um, viruses. Like according to my research, the virus doesn't take activation until. 
two weeks, two to three weeks into the, uh, into the stage of the virus. So, yeah, he might feel okay right now, but give it another week, I think he'll start feeling sick. But again, maybe that's my opinion. Maybe he'll never feel sick, and he and maybe he's not lying, and he's and he's perfectly healthy again. I don't know. But uh, he gets tested regularly, so... And I, I'm sure a lot of people are very cautious around him because he's sick with the virus. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for future updates, and have a great day. Bye.